Good Day La Science. I'm Merlo Gustine. And I'm Apple Narit, and this is Zone, Zone Updates. Updates. We hope you guys had a meaningful and restful break last week. But for now, let us keep you company for the next five minutes. That's right, and now we bring you today's latest news. For the headlines. LSU now accepting entries for ANEA Festival and holds dry run for limited face-to-face -face classes. Misamis Occidental Police Provincial Office conducts bomb response simulation exercise at Labo Airport. Natural phenomenon causes emergence of distinct creatures in some localities in Mindanao. Cebu Cha finally here in Ozamis. In the news, LSU now accepts entries for ANEA Festival and holds a dry run for limited face-to-face -face classes. Tell us more about this, Janine. Yes, Apple. ANIA, the Sal Harvest of the Arts Festival, a forerunner community arts celebration, will take place this May. The festival consists of Sulat Nimo, Sini Animo, and Music Animo. Local creative works from Uzamis City and Misamis Occidental will be featured opening the way for local artists' freedom of expression. Due to the pandemic's constraints, the event's primary platforms are Vimeo, Facebook, and YouTube. However, the institution is aiming to have the festival events held in a limited face-to-face -face setting. With this, La Salle University is continuously striving to conduct a face-to-face -face mode of learning. The institution recently had a dry run for limited face-to-face -face classes last April 20, 2022 participated by the College of Teacher Education, Nursing, and Engineering students. To ensure that safety protocols are followed, reminders and signages are placed at strategic locations to maintain physical distance and consistently remind students of the regulations. On top of that, there are washing and disinfecting areas made available within school premises. Rooms are well ventilated and laboratories are ready for occupation. Janine Chen, Zone Updates. In other news, Misamis Occidental Police Provincial Office conducts bomb response simulation exercise at Labo Airport here in Ozamis City. For more details, here's Carla Ramos. Yes, Earl. Misamis Occidental Police Provincial Office conducted a simulation exercise at Labo Airport, Gangal, Ozamis City to assess the response measures in case of bomb threats and attended luggages. The purpose of the activity was to showcase the operational readiness of the men and women in the province and other law enforcement and response unit of Islamis Occidental, responding swiftly to contingencies in accordance with the law. Provincial Explosive Ordnance Disposal and K-9 Unit Police Major Jeweler M. Cortez assured that the law enforcement and response unit team and the police force of Islamis Occidental are ready and vigilant in responding to any threats and preventing occurrence of crimes. He emphasized the importance of this simulation exercise to show how vulnerable we are to situations like this and to display how the police and airport personnel strongly respond to this kind of problem. Carla Ramos, Zone Updates. Thanks, Carla. Stay tuned for more Zone Updates. We'll be right back after this short break. Reshaping Futures Back to our news. Natural phenomenon causes emergence of distinct creatures in some localities in Mindanao. We have Jafet for this report. On early Black Saturday along the oceans of Oroqueta City in Misamis Occidental, fishermen in their sailing boat were thrilled to witness numerous dolphins simultaneously swimming along their voyage. With such sightings happening in their midst, they then decided to film the whole duration, implying that their sightings only rarely happen in their locality. Such sightings had also been recently reported all the way from the vicinities of Sinacaban to Lopezaina. On early Monday at Mount Apo Natural Park in Davao del Sur, 
the DNR recorded the sighting of a very sus Filipensis, or commonly known as the Philippine Warty Pig or Baboy Ramo during their annual Lenten climb monitoring the park, and is said to be vulnerable to extinction. Engineer Esmael Larubis, Environmental Sustainability Officer of ICAMO, verifies that these creatures' emergence is caused by their natural circumstance, or they need to shelter themselves in the healthy environment to sustain a good supply of food and adapt to a suitable temperature for their own survival. Usually, organisms uh, migrate for either food or their habitat. Further, the lives of these animals will be safeguarded given the prevention of the Kaingin system, illegal fishing, and throwing plastics, and by preserving their habitat without any human interference. I think between human and animal, I think it is better that the human must adjust rather than the animal. Thank you, Jaffet. And now for our Zone Spotlight. Cebucha is finally here in Ozami City. More of this from Jimar Poligrates. Jimar? Yes, Earl. Looking for a place to sit down, relax, and drink your tea? Cebucha is here for you. Sabocha of Philippines began in Cebu City, with Carmen being the first branch to operate a home-based delivery service. Since then, the establishment grew consistently for two months and were able to branch out further north and south in Cebu with the goal of opening Sibucha outlets within municipalities in Cebu. Furthermore, they are now on the verge of expanding the business nationwide, and now here in Ledesma Corner, Jaylona Street in Izami City, managed by the family of Mr. and Ms. Sudfeld. They offer a wide range of multi varieties and original, flavorsome, on-trend beverages that come with quality and satisfaction and affordable price. They offer dining and takeout services and are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday to Thursday and 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Friday to Sunday. What makes it more exciting is that they plan to expand in neighboring cities and municipalities in the province. Moreover, they believe that maintaining customer satisfaction and listening to their demands makes Sabocha Azamis different. For more information, please check their socials down below. Jimar Poligratis, Zone Spotlight. Thanks, Jemar, and that's the latest news for today. Once again, I'm Apple Narit. And I'm Merle Augustine, and this is Zone, Zone Updates. Updates.